Hey friends, welcome back to A Data with Dominic, where we explore finance, tech, AI, and the smartest tools to help you think clearer, work faster, and live better, all right? So if you're into investing or research, or just keeping up with the markets, you probably know this drill, right? You bounce between Google Finance, Yahoo, TradingView, some of these stock screening sites, maybe even ChatGPT from time to time, just to get a decent picture of one stock or one sector. And if, if you're like a serious investor, you take, it, take investing seriously, You've always dreamed of getting like a Bloomberg terminal until you see how much it costs to maintain one, which is I think around $20,000 a year or something like that. But what if I told you there's now a tool that gives you investor grade market intelligence powered by totally free with real time data, clean summaries and links to actual filings and analyst reports. That product exists and it's called Perplexity Finance. All right. And it's a brand new product from the folks behind Perplexity AI. And it just might be the chat GPT moment for investing research. All right. In this video, I'm going to basically walk you through exactly what it does, show you how it works and tell you what tells you why this could be a game changer for retail investors, finance creators, students and even professionals. All right. So let's dive in and see how what are the new features that Perplexity Finance gives us. All right. So to get started with Perplexity Finance, you can come to perplexityai.ai on desktop and then come over to the finance tab. All right. And then once you come over to the finance tab, you'll see that we've got this new dashboard available to us. All right. So this is basically like any other Yahoo Finance or Google Finance dashboard, but built into, but has built into it an LLM functionality. All right. And what does that mean? I'll show you slowly, but just to give you a brief overview of the dashboard, we've got a US markets and a crypto market section. Right now, these are the only two markets uh, which Perplexity Finance serves, but soon they will be rolling out more markets. So we've got some of these index trackers. Uh, the S&P 500, the VIX, the DJI. Uh, we've got a watch list where you can add some custom stocks for yourself. We've got top gainers, top losers. We've got sector-wise indexes and price movements. We've got news as well. We've got a market summary, which is AI generated. And then we've got popular spaces as well. So we'll dive into all this, some standout stocks. And also we've got some bond watch lists and some popular cryptocurrency trackers as well. All right. So that's a brief overview of the dashboard, which you look at when you log into Perplexity Finance. But as I mentioned earlier, it's got LLM functionality built into it. All right. Which means you can use queries or prompts to get the insights that you need. All right. So for example, right, if I want to look at real time financial data for a particular stock, right, suppose the stock everybody uses is always Apple, right? So I can just type, show me the latest and recent earning report for, and just to avoid any confusion we give the ticker in brackets, all right? And as you can see right now, you come to this page with the charts for Apple, with all the market snippets that we need, highs, lows, closes, P ratios, 52 week ranges, volumes. And then below that, you have the analyst ratings along with the link to the sources. And also you have the recent earnings reports, which tells you what is the revenue for the last quarter, um, uh, income, earnings per share and things like that, TTM uh, numbers as well dividend yield price to earnings ratio. So basically it gives you a detailed breakdown of whatever you've requested for that particular stock. All right. And in the related sections, based on the query above, it will show you some more questions which you might want to ask. All right. So we've given it a very generic question about some of Apple's basic information. But if you dive deeper and want to know more minutiae about Apple, the related section will also be, uh, stand at the next hierarchy of questions which you could want to ask. All right. The second thing which I want to show you about perplexity finance is the deep dive on individual stocks. All right. So since it's given us this snippet on the Apple price movement and history, we've got this option deep dive on perplexity finance. All right. And we hit that and it gives us a real overview of Apple. All right. So what that means is we've got an overview of financials. It gives us the balance sheet and the income statements. We've got historical data. We've got earnings. We've got, uh, and we've got this basically this profile along with news, key issues from analysts, bullish views, bearish views price movements and what could be the causes along with the timeline and some peers in the industry. All right. So yeah, it's a great overview of Apple's um, stock and related data along with the different sections, financials for income statements, balance sheet, cash flow statements and historical data, earnings reports and AI powered research. All right. So that was the deep dive on the stock. All right. So the next thing which I want to talk to you is about how you can look at price movement timelines. Okay, you've seen a bit of how that works, but uh, suppose I want to look at Tesla and say display the price movement timeline for Tesla and highlight key events 
which which affected price for the past few months all right so again we've got this price history of uh, tesla and also we have this table which is given us key events timeline all right where there has been price movements in the tesla stock and what is the event or reason for that triggering that price movement all right tesla drops march 11 tesla drops 15 percent in monday due to v global sales all right and it's highlighted a few key uh, events so yeah basically what we've requested it puts it into a nice nice tabulated format and it gives us an easy way to work go through this data all right so the next thing which i want to talk to you about is sec filings all right so we've got an sec filings integration in perplexity finance now and what that means is we have access to the latest SEC filings for each company directly through the chatbot, all right? You can get to this using the SEC, using uh, the Perplexity API as well. They put some documentation out on how this could work. I'll link to that in the description below. But suppose you want just the basic idea of what were the reports filed with the SEC by a company. You can say find the latest, what are the common, 10K and uh, maybe 8K reports filed by Microsoft and underlying events. This is more so for the 8K reports because 10Ks are like the annual reports, I think. And the underlying, the latest day, 10K and 8K reports filed by Microsoft and the underlying events are as follows. Latest 10K report, filing date July 30th. It's an annual overview. Yeah, so the 10K report is basically the annual report which Microsoft published for the previous financial year. And the 8K review, uh, the 8K reports, which are the specific reports which give inform investors um, relevant information. The last one which they filed was on April 30th and it was for the Q3 of 2025 data. All right. And it gives you a brief idea of what is in that report, including since this was a quarterly earnings report, it's put those numbers in there also. All right. And what we will have access to soon, which is not out yet, is the direct download of that report from within the perplexity interface, right? So they're working with the SEC Edgar API, and that will be rolled out soon. And all right, so next, another interesting feature since perplexity is powered by AI is its ability to summarize and to transcript data, right? So a lot of these earnings calls, there's a lot of information, and it's quite a long read or listen if you're trying to go through each of these earnings calls, all right? So what AI does well is summarize information, right? So we can maybe summarize the most recent earnings call on script for MZN in bullet points. All right, so let's see what it gives us. All right, so it's given us again this stock overview, but it then what it manages to do is summarize the 21 Q1 2025 first quarter uh, of FY26. It's given us this earnings call transcript summarized into key points, all right? So it's given us the numbers with some revenue which is up, which is what they've mentioned, and some of the business developments, set new records for delivery speed, same day, and thing. retail partnerships, Aura Rings, Michael Kaws and Sachs, Alexa Plus, Trainium 2, which is Bedrock AI models. It gives us the guidance and outlook for what sales could be for Q2 and the net operating income. And then the CEO's commentary, what did the CEO mention? What did the CFO mention? What are the risks that hi were highlighted on the call? and what are the insights from the analysts. But also after the call, it gives us the market reaction because it can tell the date when it happened and it judges how the stock price performed after that. And it says Amazon stock fell 2.21% in after hours trading, mainly in concerns over competition and tariffs, which could cause supply chain issues and lower consumption. All right, so again, very powerful us for investors who want to listen to transcripts of earnings calls. And that, that was a powerful feature which was launched. The next thing which I think is quite interesting is this watch list which they've got built in here, right? So you've got this with watch list section and then you can add stocks in there. What is it? Metals acquisition cup, right? So you can build out this watch list and edit it uh, to what you want, right? But the power which it gives you is that you can work with those stocks in your watch list from the query bar since it's an LLM, right? So what we can do is for the stocks in my watch list, show me today suppose you want a morning update right show me today's news and price movements for each and anything else i may want to know oh no spelling mistake there but yeah all right so for each stock it gives us the price movement news yeah so significant sell-off in tesla elon musk under pressure usual news seven percent drop apple it gives us apple formula one success of the movie push into new entertainment ventures microsoft all right so basically it's given us a summary table of what are the key stocks in our watch list and then the news which is there and then also the price change on a daily basis right so if you could if i could come here and read this every morning 
I would have a really good understanding of how this works, right? So and I, if I could export this and I could put it into an agentic work, workflow, I could automate a report every morning which tells me how my portfolio is doing or how some of the stocks I'm looking at or how some of the sectors I'm looking at are performing, right? All right, so that's another powerful feature of a Flexity Finance AI. Something else which you could find interesting is that Flexity Finance can, since it's an LLM which has access to accurate market data, it could tell you sector-specific research or sector-specific sector specific analysis, right? So suppose I want to perform a deep dive on a particular sector, say the semiconductor industry, since that is the need of the hour, I could say, show me the latest trends and risks in the semi conductor in recent news and analyst outlooks mention some of the key stocks in this sec along with performance all right let's see what it gives us all right so it's given us the semiconductor industry in 25 it's given us a note on that what are the latest trends ai and gen ai gen ai demand obviously tops it key risks geopolitical tension nothing new we know this but it summarized it nicely for us Recent news, stock market movement, key stocks and their performance, right? Okay, so it's, it's highlighted some of the key stocks in these sectors and given us some 2025 performance highlights, right? Indian semiconductor stocks, all right? So it's showing us what could happen in the Indian market as well, all right? So this is quite interesting. How are recent supply? So in the related section, this is a more in-depth question that we've asked. And what it shows us in the related section is that there's quite in-depth questions which perplexity can guess that you might want to ask all right so how will advanced packaging technologies influence industry profitability so that's like a very niche topic and yeah it gives us information on that so it's quite it's quite interesting and lets you dive deep into the sector or stock that you want to research right and finally what another feature is that will likely be rolled out soon it's not available to us yet but what i've heard or what's uh, the buzz is in the market is that soon it will be able to collate and export data directly into Excels in PDF, right, from uh, Perplexity Finance, all right? So you could say, put the last five years of Apple's earnings and income into an Excel, and it will have a downloadable Excel ready for you to work with, right? So it's given us a short of, it's given us a copyable form, but soon you'll be able to download this and export it, all right? And here it's given us a text form, if you may want to make it easier for you to work with this data. And you can just copy this, create a CSV file, and then import it into your Excel. Year-wise revenue and net income. So again, super powerful if you want to quickly generate some data and then begin working with it, just create some reports or visualizations. Perplexity Finance has that has made that super easy for us. All right. So uh, this was some of the immediate features in the new Perplexity Finance, which I thought of uh, sharing with all of you. I really think this is going to change the world, change investing for all of us democratize access to information and research which earlier was limited to people on wall street trading desks with access to a twenty thousand dollar a year bloomberg terminal but you know now we all have this kind of power sitting on our phones and laptops um as i say that i want to remind you that perplexity finance is only available in the browser on laptops and not yet on a mobile that will be coming out soon but as of the time of recording this video it's not available yet but hopefully you've learned something new and you can use this astonishing power available at your fingertips to generate outstanding returns for yourself and your family and put you on a path to financial freedom. Anyways, thank you guys for watching Data with Dominic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.